and good morning people welcome back to Alandra last time we were uh, after getting the holy sword we came to Nazareth's cavern to get the uh, last quest and we came into this little maze thing I did say I was going to show anything interesting and the only thing it, it is interesting is the Gilded Falcon's location which is actually quite uh, difficult. <laughs> Once you've dropped everything in for these uh, beacons you come back into this room and then you kill everything. Come on. Now oh, what? <laughs> And everything raises. In this chest is where the Gilded Falcon is for this area. This is missable, so you do need to get it at the same time as hitting this beacon. Other than that, that's the only thing that's of any real note in this area. So I will be back in just a moment when I'm at the e exit, so... You don't need to watch me fumble around this area. It took a while to get here. And it gets it all sorted. Anyway, back in a moment. And back. As you can see, I have all of the beacons lit. And we can now go through the door at the top. So, let's go and do that. So, in we go. And we find ourselves outside on an island. Interesting. This thing here is a, a sneaky little uh, bean platform. If I can hit the bean into it. To get up to this chest. Which gives you another life vessel. So I'm up to 47. So three more. And it gives me a full heal. And I think I'll just uh, restore my magic power. Not that I'm going to need it, I don't think. However, before you go into this house, you can see the chest over there. You do want to get it. This, uh, you will miss it if you do not get it now and go into the house. It's the wind book. Not as good as the fire book in my opinion, but uh, level 2 wind magic generates a huge tornado. Fair enough. Uh, so we've got all of our magic. Excellent. And now we can go in. There's nothing else on this island at all. Just the uh, save point, the life vessel up the top, and the wind book. So, in we go. Let's go and get this last uh, topaz. Topaz? Last crest. and um, Narva's on the floor. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something here? Oh! Zorgia. Completely forgot about him, haven't we? Well, some people have. <laughs> and he's given us a stone to put onto a pedestal. Zolith stone. This is not the crest, it is just something to get the crest. Narva wanted you to take this. That's all it says. This pedestal at the back is where you put it. And there is the final crest. The diamond crest. I'm surprised we haven't been jumped by Zorgia so far. Oh, 
a ravenous monster from a distant star. Great, so the game's devolved into aliens. So he lost against the king's army, but he was merely captured, not killed. Oh, so... Hmm. That's how he survived. And how he came into power. The king made him the god because he wanted to control Melzus. And Melzus pretty much did the same thing as he used to be doing to the uh, village. Entering the dreams and allowing them to have the power to control their dreams. Hmm. Intoxicated, yes. Erected by the lake expressly for Melzus. So he, that's where he pretty much was living. And which is why his power is so amazing here more than anywhere else. And then, as things will, he sort of became his normal self and showed his evil ways. King disturbed, got rid of the images of Melzus, except for the ones in the sanctuary where his power was highest in the uh, and near the village and it was bound into magic seal divided into seven pieces each of the crests which we have four corners of the globe even though they are found them all in the area around the lake Okay. And he discovered the Merg. Who don't have half a brain between them. So cannot fathom what his evil plans are. And Zorgia likes to make an entrance, it seems. Now is the time for the fight in Zorgia. Uh, no, I haven't dreamt of it. I did everything I dreamt of doing. I still have to defeat Melzus. And you're not going to get in the way. Uh, no, I don't think you're going to. Um, being. Pretty ugly, maybe? No, merciless killing. Yep, yep, we get it. You want to kill me. And he seems to get off on it. Yay! We shall indeed. And he teleports us into a dimension. One thing you need to know about Zorgia is he is pathetic. But however, he just takes so long to beat. It, he has a heck of a lot of hit points. And... Uh, is practically invulnerable most of the time because he's flying. 
these uh, discs that are flying around are probably the high, uh, the most important, uh, most damaging thing in the game. Uh, sorry, in the uh, area. But just run them into a wall, and you won't be able to worry about them. He does have two kinds of magic. One you just saw, which was the dropping of uh, boulders, and another one, which I'll let him do next, is that, which is just a bit of uh, fire magic. Uh, other than that, that's it. He doesn't hit hard. And his. And it just takes way too long to beat. And if you can get him into a corner like this, when he comes down and down constantly in the same place, yeah. Yeah, avoiding the. Uh, blades is not hard and they do in the setup that I've got with the silver armor and the Narva's charm equipped one damage I can survive that with an herb this boss is going to take a while to beat because he's just so annoying When he raises his hand, that's when he's going to do the flame attack. When he does a... Uh, when he crouches a bit, it, that's when he does the... Uh, uh, boulder fall. If you hit him before anything like that happens, though, he doesn't do anything and he just runs away. I believe there can be four discs up on the uh, screen at any one time. Right, but uh, just get them off as quickly as possible, then you don't have to worry about them. Come on, down you go. Alright, time. I won't need anything but herbs, I don't think, to... That, that's what he does to do the, uh... Meteor Fall, but... Even that's not really too damaging. Come on, get rid of you. And... Come on, that's it. It's just a bit of running, uh, running around more than anything else. Hit him when you can. Take, uh, take the use of the Evandra ability fr uh, frames that you get when hit by the uh, discs if you need to. And take every opportunity you can. Come on, where you got? There you are. He sometimes does come down on you, but uh, really. Eventually, uh, he will just uh, sit there and not do anything. And that will be when the fight is done. Come on. Come on, get rid of these. 
Uh, another herb. But I doubt it. I don't think he's going to last too much longer. And... Nope. <laughs> ah, bugger. Nope, still not. There, I sort of used the uh, blade to avoid the fire uh, attack, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. I think only does a bit less damage. Uh, should be near the end now. Maybe. It just takes so long to kill. Uh, might as well. I can get these elves back at any time, so they're only four Gilda. And... Come on down here. hit by that one. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, he sometimes likes to just jump off the screen for a few seconds. I'm not entirely sure what he does in that particular time. So, uh, anytime you want to die, is Orgia? My usual thing is just to st uh, st uh, stand near the edges, but uh, don't seem to be doing that today. It just lets you avoid, uh, get rid of the uh, spinning blades quickly. Because they like to run into walls and uh, disappear. Come on. Any time today, Mr. Zorgia. Yes, I just spent way too long on this boss. Come on. Oh, at least I got you that time. And... Oh. One more herb. Now I'm just uh, taking it a bit way too easy. Losing a bit of unnecessary life, but uh, it's not like he's really in the danger of hurting me. And there he goes.
that boss is just pathetic after being, uh, after Ronan having to face the Wargear is just meh. Uh, with the setup that you have, you can change the uh, the Nava's charm out for the defense ring. And there he goes. But you'll have the same thing. And Narva is also dead. Yay. We have a habit of not being able to save people. And he becomes a guardian. The curse of long life. But he counts it as his, one of his joys that he's met us. So, well, there. Now he tells us what to do. Take the seven crests and insert them into the designated pedestals around the lake. Once they've been placed, the seal will be released and we will be able to face Melzus. And he will return, uh, uh, return us out of this area. And we cannot go down there again. So anything you want to pick up in that cave, do so while you are down there. If not, uh, if you don't, it's a bit uh, tough. Really? Anyways, we have all the quests. So let's go and do something with them. I need to go up to where the lake is. Yeah, I might as well pick that up. I'll put that towards my uh, Get More Herbs fund. Not that I need money. Anyways. First thing I need to do is go up here. Since I'm going towards the lake, there's one thing I need to do first, and that's going to this cave. I need my bombs. And stay on there. And hopefully that will uh, kill things. Right, that one should be okay. You just have to throw them and hope that it uh, kills things. One more should do it. And that's that done. You might remember I came in here earlier in the game and said, oh, I can't do anything in this room. Well, now I can. Because when I came here last, I didn't have the uh, swimming ability. Wonder Essence, if you need one at this point, you might do it if you use one against Zorgia, which you honestly shouldn't, but uh, it's there. And, yeah, ignore those. Right, the reason we came up this way is because this side of the lake is actually isolated and there is a pedestal over here kill you 
Uh, this is the only pedestal in this area, but you can't get to it from anywhere else apart from that cave. So do this one first, it'll save you a bit of a trip. The Emerald Crest. First quest placed. I don't think it takes... Oh, it does take it out of your inventory. Okay. I didn't think it did, but it does. But that's fine. We don't need it anymore. It's in its rightful place. Next, we have to go all the way through here again. But luckily, the monsters are pretty uh, tame. With the Holy Sword, you don't need to worry about them. Could get a few uh, life crystals back, but uh, nah. Anyways. Next stop, uh, through this. I uh, need to go this way. Nope. That's a dead end. Here we go. There should be another one at the back here. Just get rid of them so I don't have to worry about them. Anyways, Sapphire Crest. That's two. Ruby Crest. And... Need to go over to this island again. This is usually the point in time when you get the... Uh, Gilded Falcon at the back there, but... Uh, I got it beforehand just in case I'm, I forgot about it. Garnet Quest. Can't get back onto that main island yet, so um, I'm just going to go down here. While you're while you're falling down this uh, waterfall, press the up button. Uh, up uh, the up whatever up is on your controller and you'll land on that uh, bit of wood here so you don't have to go all the way around so three crests left should be yep They are on the main island. A gate crest. Topaz crest. And finally, the diamond crest. And the seal has been broken. So, with the seal broken, our way to Melzis is open. So, next time we will go up there into Melzis' palace and we will 
see what we can find in there. So, until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.